Hello everyone. Welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a custom logo animation in After Effects. So without further ado, let's get started. For those who want to follow along with the tutorial, you can download the Illustrator file of this logo using the link in the description below. So now we are in After Effects. First, let's import our logo. Double click on this panel to import the vector file. Then select the logo file and choose Import as Composition, Retain Layer Sizes. After that, click the Import button. Alright, our logo is imported into this panel. Simply double click on this composition to open it. You will see several Illustrator layers. Select all the layers, right click, and choose Create Shapes from Vector Layer. This will automatically convert the Illustrator layers into shape layers. Now we can delete the Illustrator layers. The easiest way to do this is by clicking the Color Label box, choosing Select Label Group, which helps you select all layers with the same color, and then deleting them. Next, I rename each layer one by one, but I leave the text layers as they are, because in this tutorial, I will only explain how to animate the logo. Simply select all the text layers, click the eye icon to hide them in the composition, then click the shy icon, and lock the layers. After that, just click the shy icon once more to hide the text layers from the layer panel. Now let's focus on our logo icon. First of all, I want to add a null layer to this composition. Then place it at the center of the rice ball. Next, I select all the layers except the background layer and parent them to the null layer. After that, I open the position properties of this layer and add a keyframe. I move the time indicator forward a bit and add another keyframe. I drag the time indicator to the first frame and click this icon to show some more options. Simply select Title Action Safe to add a safe margin area. Alright, now you have to move the null layer to the center, and the rest of the elements will also move because we parented them to the null layer. Let's see the RAM preview. Alright, now we can select all keyframes and move them forward to around here. Then move the time indicator back to the first frame and lock this null layer. Alright, we have set up all the layers and elements in After Effects, and now we are moving forward to Chapter 1, which is the Rice Ball animation. Alright, first, select the Rice Ball layer, then change the color label so we can recognize it better. After that, select the background layer and lock it. Then select the Rice Ball layer and choose the Pan Behind tool. Zoom in a little bit and set the anchor point to the bottom of the ball around here. Then go back to the timeline, select all the leaf layers and hide them. Then lock them. Now we can focus on the ball. Now open the position properties of this layer and add a keyframe at the first frame. Move the time indicator to around the 30th frame. Then add another keyframe and add one more keyframe at one second. After that, Drag the time indicator to the middle frame and change the ball's position like this. Make sure it does not go beyond this line. That's why we turned on the safe margin line. Next, drag the time indicator to the first frame and change the ball's position like this. Let's check the RAM preview. Right now it looks a little bit weird because of these handles. We need to remove them. The easiest way to do this is to go to the Pen Tool option and select the Convert Vertex tool. Then simply click the vertex to remove the handles. Now check the RAM preview once again. And you can see our animation is much better than before. After that, select all the keyframes and turn them into Bezier keyframes. Then go to the Graph Editor you can see the graph of our animation. Now pay attention to this point. Simply select this point 
Grab these handles and move them like this to create a graph similar to what I'm doing here. It will make your animation smoother and much better. I want the ball to hit the ground a little bit harder, so I select this handle and move it like this. You can see the ball hits the ground very hard. Next, let's close the graph editor. Then select the last keyframe and move it slightly to achieve a natural movement. Looks nice. After that, set the time indicator to the last keyframe, then open the scale properties of this layer and add a keyframe at this point. After that, press U to reveal all the keyframes on the timeline, then move the time indicator to the middle keyframe and add one more keyframe there. Set the time indicator at the first frame, then click this icon, which is a link between the X and Y values of the scale property. We have to turn this off so we can manipulate the X and Y values of the scale property individually. After that, simply change the X value of the scale to around 80% and the Y value to 120%. Move the time indicator next to the last keyframe and change the Y value to around 120% and the X value to 80%. Set the time indicator at the third keyframe and change the X value of the scale to 120% and the Y value to 80%. Again, move the time indicator and change the X value to 90% and the Y value to 110%. Move the time indicator once more and change the X value to 115% and the Y value to 95%. Move the time indicator one last time and change both the X and Y values to 100%. Now check the RAM preview. Select all the keyframes of the scale, then turn these keyframes into Bezier keyframe. Nice. We've just created a rice ball animation. Now let's move forward. In the next chapter, you will learn how I animate the leaf. Let's animate the leaves. First of all, click this eye icon to hide the rice ball, then turn on these icons to make our leaves visible. Next, unlock them and select all the leaf layers. Change the layer group color to green so we can recognize it better. Now, drag the time indicator to the first frame, open the position properties, and click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Move the time indicator to around 30 frames and add another keyframe. Move the time indicator again to 1 second and add a keyframe. Finally, move the time indicator to 1.5 seconds and add another keyframe. So basically, we've created 4 keyframes for each layer. After that, drag the time indicator to the first frame, Select all the first keyframes, then open the Align panel to see the Align options. Click the Align Horizontally icon to align our leaves horizontally. Next, click the Align Vertically icon so our leaves are aligned vertically. By doing this, you can see our leaves gather together at the center of the composition, which is what I want. Now move the time indicator to 30 frames and select the first leaf layer. Drag it in this direction then select another leaf and repeat the process as I'm doing. For your understanding, let me explain how you should do it. Drag the leaf in a straight line like this. Similarly, drag the next leaf in this direction. I hope you understand the concept of this animation. Let's preview by dragging the time indicator. Alright, it looks good. Moving forward, place the time indicator at the third keyframe. And now we are going to change the leaves positions again, but this time we're moving them in the opposite direction. For example, you should drag the leaves inward in the direction I'm showing you. Select the leaf layer and drag it slightly. Don't push it too far in, just a little bit. Repeat this process with the rest of the leaves. Now let's check the preview. Alright, one important thing I noticed is that these handles are disturbing our animation movements, so we should remove them. To remove them, select the Convert Vertex tool and click on the vertex to remove the handles. 
Repeat this process for the rest of the leaves. To save time, I'll skip this process. All right, I have removed the handles from all layers. Let's see the RAM preview. As you can see, our movement is much smoother than before. Now, select all the keyframes and change them to Bezier keyframes. Go to the graph editor. You can see the graph of our animation. There's no need to change anything. Everything looks good. So go back to the timeline. All right. Now select the time indicator and place it at 30 frames. Then select all the leaf layers and open the scale properties. Click on the stopwatch to create keyframes. Then move the time indicator to the first frame and change the scale value to 0%. Check the RAM preview. Now select all the keyframes and change them to Bezier keyframes. Bezier keyframes help us create smoother animations. All right, close the scale properties, then turn on the rice ball layer. After that, select the time indicator and drag it on the timeline to where the rice ball animation ends. Then move the leaf layers forward on the timeline like this and check the RAM preview. All right, it's time to rearrange the leaf layers randomly. You can move the layers randomly and check the preview to get a random looking animation like I'm doing here. This looks good to me, so I'll leave it as it is. After that, check the RAM preview one last time. All right, we've successfully created a leaf animation, and now we're gonna move forward to the next chapter. Let's animate the leaf shadows. Select all the leaf layers, then right click and pre-compose them. Give a name to this composition. In my case, I name it leaf animation and check the box labeled Move All Attributes. Then click OK. After that, select the Leaf Animation layer and cut the layer from here. To cut this layer, I use keyboard shortcuts, which you can see at the top of the screen. Next, select this composition from the panel and duplicate it from here. Now, rename this layer as Leaf Animation Echo. You can also use Shadow instead of Echo. Then select this composition, drag it into the timeline, and place it below the leaf animation layer. Then cut this layer, as we did before at this point. Move this layer a little bit forward like this, and open this composition. Now select all the leaf layers. You will see there are no strokes in these layers, so we have to add a stroke manually. First, open the first layer options, then click this add icon. Simply select Stroke. This will add a stroke to this layer. Now set the width of the stroke to 5 pixels. Then turn off the Fill option. I want you to repeat this process for the rest of the leaf layers. To save time, I will skip this process. Alright, I have added a stroke to each layer and removed the fill so that I get an outline of the leaves. Let's go back to the logo composition. Then drag the time indicator slowly and check how the animation looks. If you are satisfied with the animation, set the time indicator at this point. Then, open the opacity properties of this layer and add a keyframe. Move the time indicator to around this point and change the opacity value to around 23%. Then, once again, move the time indicator a little bit forward and change the opacity value to 0%. Now, select the middle keyframe and change it to a Bezier keyframe. Now check the time preview. Nice. So I've almost completed this animation and now we're going to move forward to the next chapter, which is the impact wave animation. All right, to create an impact wave circle, simply drag the time indicator to, to the frame where the rice ball animation finishes. Then select the ellipse tool from the toolbar and create a shape like this. Change the stroke color to white and increase the stroke width to around 27 pixels. Then align it horizontally to the center. After that, select the layer and rename it as circle. Close the layer, then place it below the leaf animation echo layer. After that, 
Adjust the position of this circle like this, then open the scale properties and add a keyframe. Move the time indicator back a bit and find the point where the ball hits the ground. This is the point. Change the scale properties to 0%. Now check the preview by dragging the time indicator. This will help you get an idea and allow you to change the keyframe positions accordingly. Once you're satisfied, simply select all the keyframes and change them to Bezier keyframes. Then open the graph editor. Here is our animation graph of the circle. Now pay attention. Select this point and change the graph like this. Let's see the preview once again. I feel it's not that quick in the beginning, so I'll select this handle once more and adjust the graph slightly. Now this animation looks better. All right, after that, go to the search bar and type stroke. You will find the stroke width option. Simply click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Press U to see all the keyframes of this layer. Then, move the time indicator to the first keyframe and change the stroke width to around 56 pixels. At the last keyframe, set the value to 0 pixels. Now check the RAM preview. I feel that the starting width of the circle should be less. So I set the anchor point at the first keyframe of the circle and change the stroke width value to 40 pixels. Now check the preview. Now it looks perfect. So that's how you can create a custom logo animation in After Effects. Let me know if you have any questions regarding this tutorial. That's it for now. See you in the next video.